It's no good. Hey everybody, welcome to the Successful Breastfeeding channel. Today I am here to teach you one of my most favorite tricks and it is called the Magic Baby Dance. This is a technique that we use with all of our private clients and it is perfect for all of those babies who are super fussy and a little bit extra gassy because it puts them into a really comfortable position that keeps them stable and also helps them move some gas out of their bellies, whether it needs to come up or down. So I'm going to show this technique with you as best as I can with this little doll. And then at the end of this video, there's going to be a demonstration with an actual baby so you can get a better idea of what this technique looks like. So something really important to know about gas. Gas can happen for many reasons. Gas is normal, number one. So babies get gassy. Their digestive systems are really immature. So it's very likely that you're going to have a gassy baby at some point or another. Now what I really want to sink home for you guys, just because you have a gassy baby, that does not mean that you need to start cutting things out of your diet, okay? And I will make sure that there is a link in this so that you can go and check out some reasons why your baby might be gassy that have nothing to do with your diet and also a link to our blog post that shows you what a baby with a food intolerance actually looks like because it's really important to know the difference between these two things. So um, some things that can make your baby gassy. Number one, they're taking in air at the breast. They might be making some noises that sound like this. If you're hearing that, that's not normal. We don't want to hear that. Those are signs that your baby is not latching onto the breast with a vacuum seal, which can happen for a few different reasons. It can happen because your milk flow is really strong and they lost suction. It can happen because maybe they have some oral restriction going on, either in their muscles, maybe they're really tight, or maybe they have some tethered oral tissue, like a tongue tie. And again, we got some information about this on the blog. There will be links below so you can check those out and help you determine whether or not these clicking sounds are coming from either the way your baby's positioned at the breast or whether or not they have restriction from the muscles in their body or from tethered oral tissue or if they're making these sounds because maybe your milk flow is really strong. Um, all of these things are things that I would absolutely want to address as a lactation consultant because why would you keep nursing and let your baby get gassy if you can fix it, right? Um, so if your baby is excessively gassy, please look into those things. Otherwise, if you just have a baby who's just occasionally gassy or especially gassy in the evenings, this is probably more in the lines of what's normal infant gas. And this hold, whether you have a baby that's gassy for normal reasons or gassy for outside reasons, this hold is perfect for it. So what this hold does is it puts some counter pressure on your baby's tummy and provides them a little bit of bounce as well to create some pulsing on the belly, which will help move some of the gas in their bellies while you are doing this hold. Um, it also puts them in a nice, calm, stable position where their head isn't gonna move, their arms aren't gonna move, and they're gonna be wrapped up nice and tight. So this is a great alternative to baby wearing. If you have a partner that maybe wants to soothe your baby but isn't too into baby wearing, or maybe you just don't feel like getting the baby carrier out in that moment, this hold can be perfect for that. Or sometimes just getting them into a baby carrier isn't as comfortable as this hold. So this is just an alternative to baby wearing, which is great for sad, gassy babies. Um, I like carriers that keep babies nice and tight on your chest, especially in the newborn phase. Um, so anyway, let's get back to this hold. So what we do is you're gonna wanna take baby, put your baby out, facing outward on your chest, I like to lean back a little bit so that way my body is nice and stable for them and they're not going to flop forward when we're doing this hold. So lean back just a little bit. You're going to take your baby's legs, cross them over each other, and then bend their knees up into their belly like a little pretzel. Now you're going to want to make sure that their knees are nice and tight into their belly, okay? So from the side, take the feet, cross them over, and then bend their knees into a pretzel under their belly, like this, okay? So nice and tight into their belly. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is take their hands in your free hand. And yes, you can hold your baby with one hand, just like this, especially in the newborn phase. So you take their hands and you're gonna hold them into their chest so that their arms are nice and stable. And what I like to do is take my thumb and rest it on the side of baby's head to stabilize baby's head. And then you can just do some gentle bouncing 
walk around your house, bring your baby to a window, let them look outside. This combination of this hold with holding your baby in nice and tight and secure is going to provide them stabilization, some counter pressure on their belly, which is going to feel really good. And that little bit of pulsing that's going to happen with the bouncing involved with it as well is going to help get some of that gas in their belly moving. And with their feet squished up like this, with their hips nice and open, it puts them in a natural position to help them poop. So if you have a baby that has just been struggling to poop and grunting a whole lot and just really not feeling so great, get them into this position and help them pass that poop, pass that gas, and they'll be feeling better in no time. For more really great resources and breastfeeding advice and information, head to successfulbreastfeeding.org and check out the links in the description.